Seeing heavily overloaded vehicles is much more common in certain countries in the world. These can be humorous to shocking, and the way some trucks and even cars are stacked is mind-boggling. From toppling trucks to incredibly high loads, grab your helmet and come with us as we show you what some drivers are capable of. Overloaded mini truck in India. Not sure what this first guy is transporting, but this vehicle is really struggling. Are those large beer kegs or maybe industrial waste, maybe? I mean, really, the way his rear axle sags, it's easy to tell that whatever it is is really heavy. Maybe the truck isn't overloaded, but simply practicing its wheelie. What are the chances the traffic official will pull him over? Probably not high. Anyway, even his buddy driving past him is smiling at him. A mini truck with a massive bag. Let's stay in India for the moment. 24th of August 2023, they landed on the moon. And with that type of tech, one can understand how they're able to build trucks that are this strong, right? This guy looks like he's transporting his mother-in-law's mattress. Loads so massive that he can't even drive over a small bump in the road and needs his cousin and his tractor to help him out. Good luck, buddy. Overloaded truck. Back here in the office, we have an argument going whether this truck is overloaded or if it's not. I'm not sure which country he's from, but it looks like he's transporting all of that nation's grain in one load. Strictly speaking, the truck is overloaded because it's packed. I'm reasonably sure, however, that it can probably handle the weight of a normal road. You fancy placing a wager on the roads being no more than dirt tracks? Overloaded truck loses battle with gravity. There is a reason why people don't overload their vehicles. Then when you decide to make your vehicles look like a moving mountain of stuff, just tie the stuff down. If stuff shifts, the center of gravity shifts, and that can be... bad. This truck is so overloaded with hay that its center of gravity shifts, and from that moment, it's simply a matter of time. On the other hand, maybe there's just a massive cow off-screen trying to suck up all the hay. Why brakes are important. So, we see overloaded all the time on the internet. And except for the obvious reasons that it is a bad idea, here's another one. Truck brakes are strong, but they can only take so much. Kumar and Abdul over here are both driving trucks that look like they're pregnant. The driver of a car is about to go around the corner when he realizes he better wait first. Once the first truck is clear of the turn, he doesn't move, and we see why. Here comes another pregnant truck. Burning rubber to escape the Grim Reaper. Now for a driver who decided to go around a steep mountain road corner just a bit faster than he should have. His front wheels get off the road, but he does manage to just stop short of a massive vertical fluff face. Soon bystanders help to place large boulders under their wheels when his reversing attempts simply lead to burnt rubber. This strategy seems to work little by little, and he manages to reverse clear and can continue safely on his way. For now. Legally Overloaded When a government official at business suit level decides an overload is legal, then is it still overloaded? Well, it's the government, so apparently not. You know a load is big when it's loaded across two trucks and two ambulances follow nearby, just in case. They even use consultants for this load. Yeah, in South Africa, they even have overload consultants. Well, this tower weighs 70 tons, so what would one expect? All jokes aside, this is probably one of the hugest loads transported anywhere in the world. Happy Death It's one thing to overload a truck, but it's another to tempt fate by gleefully swerving it and all its passengers across the road. We're staying in Africa for this one, where the driver of this bus decided that this cat having babies was a great thing to celebrate. He swerves the bus from left to right across the road, but the passengers are smiling. Maybe they also love cats. The swerving continues down the road, and gotta feel sorry for the owner of the truck. He is definitely gonna have to replace his shock absorbers sooner rather than later. Quintuple Decker Pickup Truck Usually we reserve the words stories and decks for buildings or shifts, but somewhere in South Africa, this guy took over loading to a five-story level. Not only does the vehicle look like it swallowed a whole yard sale, but right at the top they decide to top it all off with people. The man filming the spectacle can only comment and laugh. Who knows, maybe the passengers have tickets to hell or someplace similar. I really hope they have all coverage insurance. The truck has had enough. Sure we're not missing anything? Maybe you should load the neighbor's house too. The owner of this truck decided more is better, but of course the truck seems like it's really tired. It's strange and almost loses balance from all the weight. Then it rides itself like the tough truck it is, but this isn't ending well. If the road was good, this story may have ended better, but alas, our truck has had enough, and he gives up the struggle. Rest in peace, dear truck. Overloaded bike truck thingy. I don't know what the heck that thing is. Somewhere on the subcontinent, we find this group who seem to be the crew of the SAS Intrepid. In this case, the Intrepid is a strange bike truck hybrid, which may have been a bad idea for any designer to dream up. 
The bike truck is struggling to move forward, so its crew pushes it, but when they let go, its weight is so much that the whole driver part is lifted off the ground. You ain't going nowhere, SAS Intrepid, or whatever the heck you are. A little too high. Not only can the weight shift or the brakes fail, but what happens when you pass under a low bridge? Or even just a normal height bridge? Well, obviously the cargo they spent hours constructing into a Tower of Babel comes tumbling down. The whole mess actually poses a danger to cars traveling nearby, but everybody escapes serious injury, somehow. Dying Truck Somewhere another overloaded truck has had enough. As we watch, we can see that the loaders of this truck were a bit too eager. They packed the truck beyond its raptors, and now the truck is dying. This abused cargo carrier has reached the end of his tether. It blows out its last breath and tumbles over as the weight of its cargo gets the best of it. It falls over and its cargo goes flying, causing a right mess with some other guys have to come and clean up. Pickup truck topples over. Every time overloaded vehicle drivers go out on the non-existent roads, they tempt fate. And with roads like this, I would not have loaded my pickup truck even remotely like the way this driver decided to. The vehicle hits a deep pothole and it's enough to throw its center of gravity off just enough for it to fall over. The loadmaster on the back's probably done this before because he's off the vehicle in a flash. The car that could. This video was filmed in the tiny African nation of Togo. We see a car stacked very high with mattresses for the local summer camp, we presume. Not only is it stacked with mattresses, but it had stuff in its boot as well, to the degree where it can't even close. Another one that could. This time we have a truck that's severely overloaded with heavy sacks of grain or corn. The vehicle is in traffic and the motorcycle is behind to take their chance to pass by. But then the weight shifts to the left. At one point, a motorcyclist is not sure if he should pass it or not, but he squeezes past at the moment when the vehicle reaches its tipping point. He's just passed when the truck topples over, finally. Truck with an afro. Not quite sure what's happening here, but we hear a man talking as a truck with a wild afro hairstyle approaches. The truck simply drives past, minding his own business while the hair expert keeps talking. Then he turns the camera to his face and says something which carries a lot of disapproval. We think he was complaining that the truck's hairstyle was not for him, and honestly, feel your pain, man. Really do. Topple or no topple? Gotten to the point where we're eagerly betting on which trucks will topple and which won't here in the office. Enter another leaning truck video clip. This seems to be in India again and the truck is leaning, heavily laden with bags of something or another. Will the truck topple or not? The guy filming this straining carrier of cargo drives past and the truck has not yet fallen. Probably will later, but this time it wasn't caught on video. See you all next time.